Hey everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of severe hepatic steatosis. That is the grade 3 hepatic steatosis, also known as fatty change in liver. A 34-year-old obese male patient came with non-specific abdominal pain. He was sent to us for a routine ultrasound scan. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Here you can see the right lobe of the liver. I have told you that you can see, but actually you can't see anything here. You see the gallbladder, but you cannot see the vessels and diaphragm well. The sounds are trying to pass through the liver and they are getting attenuated, so the posterior view is not very good. When the liver gets too much fat, they show the image like this. So it's very difficult to search for any parenchymal lesion in this patient. Like if there is any hemangioma or even hepatocellular carcinoma in this patient, you may miss on ultrasound. Here's the view from the right subcostal margin. You can see the glimpse of the right kidney which is also quite difficult to visualize because the sound is getting attenuated by the fatty liver. This is the diaphragm. It's very difficult to visualize, almost non-visualized, and you cannot see the intrahepatic vessels properly. And the view with the glimpse of gallbladder. I'm trying my best changing the settings to see the liver. I'm using the penetrating mode, that means the lowest frequency available on my transducer. But still, it's very difficult to see the liver parenchyma quite well. Here's the picture, you can see the liver with poor visualization or you may say almost non-visualized intrahepatic vessels and diaphragm due to increased echogenicity with sound attenuating property. We have tried to measure the liver though in severe hepatic steatosis it's very difficult to measure the liver. I've seen a glimpse of diaphragm at this part so I tried to measure like this. But usually it's not quite accurate. So whatever measurement you follow, make sure the CT will give you the best measurement in severe hepatic steatosis cases. So in summary, grossly hyperechoic hepatic parenchyma is noted with severe sound beam attenuation causing difficulty in visualization of intrahepatic vessels and diaphragm, suggesting it as a case of severe fatty change in liver or severe hepatic steatosis, that means grade 3 hepatic steatosis. Now the take home message. CT or other radiological procedures may give a better detail about the parenchymal lesion in severe hepatic steatosis than ultrasound. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and visit imagingstudy.com for more cases. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.